na naman hindi para dumudungaw ang haring araw but I do hope that you're all safe in your own homes especially now dumungaw naman a few days ago pero saglit lang tonight is something this is this, uh, an episode that I'd like to share especially with with the pandemic right now dahil a lot of us haven't seen our friends a lot, a lot of us haven't even seen our families due to the pandemic so it's understandable na may maramdaman tayo tungkol, da, uh, tungkol dun but of course before I continue I am Coach Juriel or Coach TJ whichever it is easier to say I'm a certified CACC professional life co- from Life Coach Philippines I'm a certified martial arts instructor and a marine engineer by profession. I help people navigate through life and love through coaching classes and services that includes responsible online dating. I'm a scholar of Master Coach A for public speaking and this episode is titled Aspaldiko, Happiness and Catching Up. Yeah, so it's very timely. Especially sa panahon natin na hindi tayo nakakalabas ngayon at bihira. There are there are a few instances that we can go out without having to worry about catching a disease. So, I think this is just this is just a, a great reminder of of just catching up. Ano yung benefits? So, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin aspaldiko? <laughs> so, aspaldiko means or it translates from Basque. Uh, the euphoria and happiness felt when catching up with someone you haven't seen in a long time so anyone pl- qualifies as long as you haven't seen them in a long time and hindi mo rin sila nakakausap masyado if you're having an LDR like me we we talk uh, we talk nightly almost every day so we always catch up we try to catch up every night yan every day so yung connection nandun pa rin but we haven't seen each other in a year dahil nga sa pandemic but this one this one is someone you haven't seen in a long time and you haven't talked to in a long time and the happiness that it brings na once you get reconnected with that person or once na kapag usap ulit kayo na you, you just feel happy you both feel happy that it's there the moment is here and it's just a be- it's just a beautiful moment na it's just a beautiful moment na nagkakitaan ulit kayo at nag uh, nagkausap kayo. So ano nga ba, meron tayong tinatawag na may meron tayong tinatawag na friends and reunions. So friends and reunions. Madalas natin naririnig nasasabi na a true friend no matter how long that you haven't uh, how, no matter how long you haven't talked to or seen each other once you get that moment nagkausap ulit kayo parang parang walang lumipas sa panahon so how many of you has those type of persons in your life so yun, yun po that is the embodiment of aspaldiko when you when you have a friend or when you have someone either uh, an acquaintance or a relative once that you haven't seen them in a long time you haven't talked to them in a long time pero pag nag catch up kayo masaya you're just elated you're just happy that they're present and you are present with them so yun yung yun yung feeling ng aspaldiko Wala tayong ano dun eh. Wala tayong exact Filipino term for that or I am not just aware. If you know something, so just please comment it so that I can learn something new. <laughs> so, yung reunion na yun between you and your friend, yun yung, nag, yun yung nagpapatamis ng moment kasi you haven't seen each other at all in a long time and you feel that you're still as strong of a friend or it's still a strong of a friendship despite the long time in absence. Diba? The friendship is still there. It's very much present and evident. So, that is aspaldiko. 
yun. So, true friendship, eh, true friendships and uh, reunions. Yun po ang nangyayari. So, ako, meron akong ganyan sa best friend ko that's from the States. We don't usually talk or sometimes we talk months in between at a time. But every time we talk, it's something always, uh, it's something that's always happy to me. It's something that I'm always excited about. Kasi tagal ka kami hindi nagkakausap eh. So, even if just checking on each other, do it. If you have those kinds of people in your life, don't forget. Kamukamos na inyo naman sila, paminsan-minsan. So, may benefits nga ba itong aspal ko? Diba? Baka mamaya sabi, coach, baka naman mga kamusta yan, tapos mumutang. <laughs> Mustang. Diba? So, baka na isipin na nalaga nung ka rin, mga kamusta ka lang dahil mumutang. No, uh, aspal ko is the happiness and euphoria that comes from checking on or catching up. Just for the sake of catching up. Hindi dahil may kailangan kayo. Hindi na genuine happiness, happiness yun dahil may ulterior motive na. So, ano nga ba? The first benefit of Aspaldico is renewed connections. So, connection muna. It's renewed connection dahil you haven't seen or contacted each other in a long time and your friends magkakilala kayo or relative mo siya. So, the connection before, kung para bang hindi ka na nakikilala ng tao or hindi na kayo nagkakaroon ng contact. When you renew that connection, doors open. Doors open. Their door opens up to you and your doors open up to them. You get you get to check how are they. Diba? Nagkakaroon din sila ng update mula sa'yo. I'm sure they will be also excited as you are. Diba? Kasi so, mamimiss mo lang yung tao and that's fine. Okay lang yun. When you miss someone, message. The next benefit is renewed perspective. So, coming from the connection, nagkakausap na kayo. Of course, pag nag-catch up kayo, imposibleng walang kamustahan. So, natural sa natural, magkakaroon talaga ng kamustahan. Yan. And once you get updated with, with, it, uh, with each other, nagkakaroon na kayo ng renewed perspectives. Kasi this was them before the contact uh, before the contact stop then this is them now when you are now in contact bago so you learn something new about them nagbabago ngayon perspective mo na dati ganito sila then ay ganito pala na sila ngayon kasi may pinagdaanan din sila eh magugulat ka na nagmature din sila and they will also be surprised of how mature that how mature you are from the last time that you've met so, renewed perspectives bago sa panlasa third is renewed bonds eh coach may connection ka na but may bond ka pa so yung connection lang so, kumbaga parang connection, when you're connected with someone, kilala mo you have a channel towards them diba? but it doesn't necessarily mean na valuable yun so, when you are connected with someone, ibig sabihin, kaya mo lang siyang i-contact. You have, you have a channel through to them. The bond is however different. Bond, di ba? Katulad ng mighty bond. When you are bonded to someone, ibig sabihin, dikit kayo. Meron kayong pinagsamahan. Something in your experiences or some things in your life that are, di naman stuck glued to you, kumbaga. So, renewed bonds, it strengthens the bonds, yung pagiging dikit nyo. Diba? It's one thing that you are connected, and it's another that you are bonded. Bonded kasi is a stronger form of connection. Ibig sabihin, iba yung trato mo dun sa tao. Nare-renew yun. So, if you have someone who's not in your family, but you treat as family, matagal mo nang di nakakausap, Pag nagkausap ulit kayo, the bond is renewed. Yung sense of being together. So, yun. Fourth, yung ating pang-apat na benefit, it's simply great for mental health. 
Paano naging great for mental health? Kasi you get to talk to someone. Nagkakaroon ka ng... Kasi nga may euphoria and may happiness. So masaya ka na nakipag-connect ka. Masaya ka na natuto ka ng panibago and na-renew yung bonds. That has a physical manifestation. Yung happiness, there's a med- physical manifestation in your body. May mga hormones sa sinisikrit yung katawan mo. Just be- because you feel good. And of course, na ano rin, nakaka-uplift din yung maalala mo yung previous memories previous happy memories you have with that person you are being reminded so like yan minsan nanonood or nakakapanood yung mga teammates ko from high school minsan nakakalimutan ko na ano rin hindi eh. naman totally pero sometimes it's at the back of my head na na naging part ako ng team na nagkaroon ako ng ano ng achievements back then. Pag nakakausap ko na, pag nakapag-reconnect kami, naalala namin yung mga pinagsamahan namin. And that causes joy. Nakakatuwa lang kasi you get to reminisce. And may ano rin talaga siya. You being happy is something or you remembering something that brings joy. Even how little will bring a benefit to your mental health. And then your five panlima yung last na benefit niya as i as i enumerated is network expansion you already have the connection there's a renewed perspective there's a renewed bond okay na okay kahit onti yung mental health mo now that you renewed those mag-expand ulit yung network mo kasi they also have a network of their own di ba they're also expanding their network through you. Ano ba ngayon ang current mong ginagawa? Ano ba yung ano ba yung mga naging achievements mo recently? Ano yung achievements nila recently? Who knows? You might be doing two separate things that interest you both. And dahil may kilala siya na may kilala siya na gusto mong kuha na kunyari sabihin natin, like for me, uh, may mga items, ma- Maraming nagbe-message. May mga nagbe-message sa akin tungkol sa knives. Gusto nila. I have a network with mga nagbebenta ng tactical gear. Makilala ko. So, I immediately connect them with that. Masaya sila because they get quality products. ba? Or sometimes sa aso. Someone asked me about dogs. Do I know a trainer? Do I know someone reliable? Yes, I know. Meron po kong kilala. And so, I connect them with them. I connect my friends with the trainer or if my my friend who is a trainer who is looking for other things I can connect also so nag expand your network so it's not just it's not just intangible well oh well tangible pa rin naman ang network kasi pwede mong kurutin yung katabi mo <laughs> but see it's not just the intangible benefits that you can have you can also have those physical or in, 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 in tangible benefits from Aspal dito, from reconnecting with the friend and just being happy that you are talking to them again. So yan. So I hope that you've learned something, another untranslatable word for this week, and that's one meaningful content a day. I hope that there's something in this content that has given you joy, diba? And I hope this also prompts you to also reconnect with the people in your lives and of course if you have uh, any questions suggestions comments clarifications violent reactions <laughs> do let me know para mapaunlakan yan if you're also having difficulties reconnecting with people if you need issues worked out diba and or and or nahihiya ka lang hindi mo alam paano mag-open ng ng message to someone else that you haven't talked to in a long while I can help I'll be more than happy to help you with that so the coaches are here if you have any if you have any curiosities about life coaching you want to experience the magic of life coaching or you want to be certified as a life coach do connect with us at Life Coach Philippines at sir 917-586-1661 that's sir 917-586-1661 and of course, I will greet Johnny Delgs. 
aking go alumni sa school namin. Good evening then. Thank you for watching. <laughs> so yan. I hope that you are all staying safe, cool, dry, hydrated, warm, of course, and healthy as always. I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. Peace out.